Yep, fish, fish. Yes, I'm on. All right, guys. Here, finally back on the kayak. So I um yesterday my new battery came. This is a lithium deep cycle, so it's lighter. I think it's only eight kilos, but it can run super powerful and um over a long period of time with this little little water snake electric motor just here. So already what? Check this out. Um, it's on this little mount. Cord goes back to my battery there. Got some tackle, two rods, GoPro. Even got power to the kayak so this is solar so i can charge my phone or gopro batteries or whatever i need to charge we're gonna be chasing some pretty underrated um freshwater sport fish tilapia with some lures got two small little soft plastics got a few yesterday so do not bring the kayak today let's give this a try all right guys just film that intro and uh ready to hop on got some water everything's charging well i think yeah that's cool. You know, got the net as well, just in case. Catch any garages. Push the kayak in. Beautiful. Just spinning around all I know this way. I have to get in somehow here. Yeah? Probably should hook up the battery first. Negative and positive. They are nicely beautiful, beautiful. Sneak under there. Now I'll try and get on the kayak without flipping it. Because there is a lot of expensive stuff in here. Nice and stable as she usually is. Gotta quickly put the phone into there. Just gonna kick it off there. Should I go full speed? Alright, bet. Oh yeah. We are cruising. This is proper. Mm. I'm literally right on top of where I wanted to fish. Oops. Didn't mean to go spook with the fish, but yeah. Oh, well, we'll chuck it in low. And we will grab a rod. And we will also try to like spin us around here. Yes, I'm on. I'm on. I want to reverse out of here. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Okay, that's good enough. I want to reverse out of that spot because I know there's got to be more back there. Because I saw a heap of them. Oh, this is a good fish. He smoked that little crawfish lure. This little slays to like it, guys. I've got a heap of them, so that's good. Oh yeah. I don't want to go too hard because I got busted off yesterday. I went too hard on them. I just want to keep away from that corner because that corner over there where I just got this fish. Because there's going to be more there. That's what happened last time. I found a school of them all feeding. Oh wow. 
Yeah, so long as he's towing me away, I can go position myself over there again. So good. As I said, underrated sport fish every single day. Check out this for a fight. And I don't have too loose a drag, my rod is full bending. Full towing me the other way. If he was a jack and he was trying to get back to home, chuck the motor in reverse. Oh yeah, that's, good. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a really nice fish, guys. Big swells there. Come on. Come here. Stop doing that. Okay, a good look on him. This is on eight pound leader, so you don't need really, oh, you don't need super, super light leader. He's just super strongest fella. Eight pound is definitely not too heavy. They aren't too picky. Oh wow, he's just not stopping. This is crazy. Come on, let's get a good look on him. Oh, that is a, that is a thick lure. I cannot even see the lure, guys. Oh, yes. Let's go. Put the rod in the holder there. Should we get a read on this water temperature? Yeah. When we came down, guys, it was 22.5. It's up to 22.8 now. So a bit of a temperature rise. Got this big fella to bite. And no joke, I cannot see that lure. That is very far down the gob there, guys. Yes, let's go. I'll give you guys a good old look at him in just a second. Should I grab out a camera? The other camera that goes up on the front. Up on the front dash. So good. I'm stoked. Stoked. And I reckon there's a lot more to come. The only reason I didn't catch more the other day, I want to get away from this corner edge. Come on. Out we go. Away we go. We don't want to be over there. That's better. Okay. See what we can do with this camera. I haven't used this little tripod yet. I got it the other day from Cashies. Cash converters. And let's see if I can somehow. Alright guys, check out this. Check out that. For an absolute chunks of a tilapia. Right there. Oh, and that little lure. That is so good. The lure, guys. Take a gaze. So far down the gob. That is not something that tilapia usually do, by all means. They're usually quite a sensitive eater, you could say, in how they take down a lure. But this guy. And they have decent size, like, sandpapery sort of teeth. So, yeah, I'm just going to take a little bit to get that lure out. But, dude. That is so, so good. First time out in the kayak with the new battery and the motor cranking up beautifully. Got me in the zone. That is so good, guys. Let's go. Hey, guys. Just dealt with that tilapia. And we are doing a quick figure eight and heading back to that same little honey hole that I just got that fish in. Um, tilapia. Putting a bit too close to Yeah, there was a bit of a spike in the temperature, which definitely caused these fish to have a bite. But straight after that spike. Whack, whack, we got a couple good bites. I'm gonna try and spin this around here. I don't want to get too far on top of my little fishing spot. Should we 
keep the patio. I can put down my little mini anchor thing. If I really want to sit on this patch for a while. But I reckon we'll just keep doing what we're doing for a big second. I'm trying to get a cast over there. There we go. Oh, that was a fish right next to it. in his own. Yep, fish, fish. I knew that was the spot. Right there, guys. Absolutely slaying the tilapia today. Should have reverse out of this spot again. Same deal. Should we get us out of it? Mm -mm. Oh, she's running. I don't want to get on top of that. Same old, same old little spot. Because there's just too many fish there. It's pulling me back. I've got to get out of there. Sorry, fishy. You're going to keep getting towed. Actually, not what we might do. Might try. I suppose that thing's stopped up again. I'm gonna have to try and tow this fish along. Oh wow, well, this is not gonna go too good. I've gotta just do a quick Yui and get out of that zone. Because I don't wanna wanna keep stuffing up that spot. It's all about keeping that spot super quiet so they don't even know I'm there. This one ate it really nice and shallow. Which is pretty cool. We're just actually gonna We're just hooning over the other side. Get just about as far as we can away from that zone. I'm going to quickly put my temperature back in, check what the temp is, just so I know sort of what I'm looking at. I had it in the kayak, so it's got to quickly just change for down there. Let's see what we got. It'll be a big old tilapia. Come on. How big is she? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Just a little loosen a little bit. Somebody's not happy. It's kind of like you'll find a patch of them. You'll find a patch. Next um, next time I go back over there, I'll walk you through exactly what action I'm running to get these big boys to bite. And the thing is, if you're in Queensland, just about any pond you go to, that's decently, like not tiny, but decent size, big or, big or medium, it's gonna have these here. They are nearly everywhere now in Queensland. And as you can see, they are an absolute fighter. I'm just going to chuck my kayak in reverse again. Cool beans, that's all good. No, I should 
through real stuff on too. This little patch right here. And this fish is not on the canyon. I do have another rod with me, I haven't even thought about using it because this lure has been going so well. Come on, come on, come on. Show us your face, mate. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Oh, come on. It's such a hard riding fish, these ones. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one right there. That is an absolute big one. Come on. Got him. And got him in the net. Let's go. Open the bale. Put this in the rod holder. Without losing our fish. And that's a big one. All my days, I literally was just, I was just, I cast out and I was using my motor to hoon down to a different spot. Yeah. And I was just reeling in my line as it came and I thought it was just slack because of the motor, but a fish had swum right underneath my kayak. Alright. Where is the camera? Yep, camera's rolling. Alright guys, I'm on the phone to Dita. If you don't know who Dita is, that's the kid that's holding the big flatty in my shorts and stuff. So, Dita, say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. That's Dita, he's on the phone, I'm just on the kayak at the moment. I was not expecting this, because this was in fairly deep water. And I'm on. That is beautiful. Wow, what is it? It's going fast. Is it like a freshwater tuna? You reckon it's a freshwater tuna? Probably not. Probably not. Oh no, it's going back around the back. No, actually seriously, why is it so fast? Maybe it's a spango. Oh, it's a pretty big Spango if it's a Spango, I can tell you that. But you never know, it might have grown into an absolute beast. It wouldn't be an eel, surely not. No. Surely not an eel. No. Surely not an eel. I reckon it's a big Spango. I'm going to try standing up. I've already done it, but I haven't tried standing up onto a fish. So if I fall in, it's going to be the best. Alright, I'm standing up. I've got so much weed on my line because it's such a weedy little edge. What is it? I think it'll just be a big old, oh wow. I just got a glimpse of it, but I didn't get to see what it was. Come on. Come here. I didn't get the hook up on camera. Oh, wow. It's somehow I've snagged hooked a tilapia on the back. Oh. How's it even possible? My little just sitting on the bottom. Wow, that's interesting. Not every day. I snag them on t intentionally sometimes, but literally I was just had my lure sitting on the bottom. I reckon he came over and was looking at it, and I did a hot pop and it snagged him. All right. Come on. Get up. That's why it was going so fast. It is a pretty big tilapia, though. All right. At the surface. It's not huge, but it's a decent. Get the net. No, no, stay away from the motor. In the net it is. It's in the net. Wow, that is interesting. That's a good way to end the video. A big old top here. Yeah. On the back there. Um, the lure is. This is the lure right here. Right there in the top of the fin. It's interesting. That little crawfish lure again. All right, my GoPro is on 2%, so it's gonna drop out any second, but give you guys a bit of a, bit of a look at. That big old tilapia there. Beautiful fish. Crazy looking green on the front there. Probably about 30 centimeters. Put it in the net. And uh, anyways, that's great. It would be good if I could get this off. Here we go. That GoPro's on 1%. Anyways, guys, 
Thanks for watching today's video. Hope you enjoy. Please like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for the next one. Let's go. Oh, look at that tilapia. On the kayak, with the motor. That's great, just great. You.